Let's talk about 1A now because this is a, a matchup of two undefeated teams. It's kind of a matchup we saw coming all season long. 13-0 Adam Central traveling to Pioneer, who's also 13-0. Pioneer has been the team to beat in 1A uh, statewide so far this season. Uh, they've been pretty impressive. Jack Kaiser. Well, decent. Yeah. What do you see as being the, the keys for Adam Central against this Pioneer team that has a multitude of weapons offensively, defensively, special teams. I mean, they've just been uh, a fairly complete team so far this year. As complete of a football team in 1A as we've seen in a long time, you could look at it and go next level and say, okay, um, Pioneer hasn't played that many really good football teams, especially out of 1A. I don't think they've played a single opponent out of 1A. And if, if they have, it's only a couple. So you would think mm -hmm. Adam Central has played the tougher schedule. Uh, but the way Pioneer has dominated opponents – I'm not sure if that matters. I think, uh, you know, Adam Central has to go on the road and find something. Uh, a quick start would be big. You know, a really being able to limit Jack Kaiser is a Herculean task. Uh, they have so many weapons, but it all revolves around Jack Kaiser. Yeah, numbers-wise, you're talking about a pioneer team that, uh, since the postseason has started, has outscored their opponents 296 to 7. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a math major. That seems pretty, pretty good. good. That's, that's pretty that's decent. pretty good. Yeah, and look, Pioneer runs that traditional wing tee offense, so mm -hmm. it's not like they're lining up and you can win the battle in the trenches and you can stop Pioneer. You have to be aware of all the stunts and the fakes of everything that goes with a wing tee. So not only are you facing a very good football team, you're facing a very difficult scheme to prepare for, and that's the big challenge, I think, for Adam Central. I think the flip side of that, though, is Adam Central, the last three weeks, they've beaten what I think it was number five, Cherubusco, who is a predominant rushing football team. Yeah. Southwood, who was ranked third in the state. And then, you know, the easy one was Monroe Central, number 11 on the road, yeah. who can run the football. As we saw, they had an early 89-yard touchdown. I mean, they should be – they are as prepared for this game as you could be, I would think. Yeah, absolutely. And I think this is going to be the toughest test for Pioneer all season long. And I think this is the winner of this one is going to win the state championship in the, over Thanksgiving weekend in Indianapolis. Uh, it's just the problem with that with this is, is Pioneer is just so darn good. Kaiser – uh, they've rushed for, what, 89 total touchdowns as a team this year? Something like Kaiser's got 38 himself. I mean, I didn't even realize he could score 89 touchdowns in a season. It's impressive. But Pioneer has done it. Uh, he also leads them in interceptions with seven. He leads them in tackles with, like, 118. Yep. I mean, the kid's going to Notre Dame as a linebacker uh, prospect. Rushed for 1,500 yards, threw for 1,000. I mean, yeah, it's just tremendous what he's this doing kid okay. does. Yeah, he's doing decent. So when they're beating teams by 60, uh, if they do half that this week, they win by 30. My biggest concern, I think Pioneer's going to just naturally get their points. I think that's how their offense works. But defensively, I think they've been overlooked because we all want to talk about the 66 or 70 or 80 yeah. points that they're scoring. The key, Adam Central has faced some pretty good defenses and put up points. So what can they do offensively to maybe – Logan Macklin is a one-man wrecking crew. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of his touchdowns are big plays that don't eat up a lot of the clock and you give the football back to him. You don't want Pioneer to have the football for that long. You yeah. need long, sustained drives if you're, if you're Michael Mosier. Yeah, it's a little bit of a dilemma because you want to eat up clock, yet you have to score points. Mm -hmm. So, you know, are you aggressive and trying to score touchdowns or are you perfectly fine with just moving the ball down the field? I think that's the best case scenario that you're, you're eating up clock. I don't think you want to score too many times two- or three-minute drives. I think you want to eat it up, but then you're saying, if I can score, I need to score right. against Pioneer. So it's kind of difficult. The more snaps, especially in the cold, the more chances you have to make a mistake, sure. turn the football over. I mean, you'd like a 15-play drive, but you need seven at the end. Yeah. I mean, that's ultimately what you need. Yeah, and you know what? Pioneer beat Lafayette Central Catholic like 70-7 to seven or something that's like that. Okay. I mean, and LCC is one of the top programs in the lower classes in, in football. A little down this year, but they play up. They play a lot of teams up. And Pioneer destroyed him by 63, and that was what the, may have been the closest game of the playoffs thus yeah. far for them. How do you how do you flip the script if you're Michael Mosher? Because you've been the favorite in every game you've played this year, and now you're going in and you're going to be an underdog. I think with a young, inexperienced, immature team, it's kind of difficult to flip that script. But if you have so many seniors and so many experienced guys on this football team that have been through the battles, and, and talking to Coach Mosier last week, he said, you know, these guys, before, before we enter the field, they're, they're goofing off and they're laughing and stuff. And he said, before, you know, earlier in the year or in the summer, I tried to put a stop to it. But then I saw how this team focused once games started, and it was just – 
you know, from the opening kickoff, they were they were zeroed in. So I think they're going to come in loose on Friday, maybe even more loose than they have all year because they're the underdog, mm -hmm. because everybody expects them to go in and get destroyed. And I think maybe that's an advantage for the Flying Jets, kind of not feeling the pressure. Well, one person that thinks it's going to be close, Harrell, I, John Harrell, I, I would have thought his prediction uh, would have had Pioneer winning by you know, quite a bit. But Pioneer 38-28, I mean, a 10-point game, that could go either way. And maybe the 28 points for Adam Central is as surprising as any of that, mm -hmm. but I think that's a product of what the Pioneer, what Pioneer has not done this year is play a lot of teams up as compared to Adam Central. And, and you can say they really weren't challenged in the ACAC, but you do see some higher class teams that you'll play. A couple three A's in there, of course, and two A's. So I think that helps for Adam Central, but with, with, with the demolition that Pioneer has done week after week to teams that are very inferior to them, but just the manner that they've destroyed teams. It's going to be difficult.